Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I've been working on an in-game toolbar. Firstly though, if you watched last week's behind the scenes devlog video, you'll know that you can now click on an entity to bring up some information about that entity and this week I worked a bit more on that so the names of the entities are now correctly shown plus the entity components from the component based architecture can each add some information to the GUI so for example here we've got size, age and colour. But as I mentioned, the main new update this week is this toolbar in the top left, which slides in and out depending on whether you've got the menu open or not. The first thing that we've got on the left of the toolbar here is the number of diversity points that you have, and these points are going to act like a sort of in-game currency. There are going to be a couple of ways that you can get these points, so the first way is that you get quite a large point reward every time that you breed a new species of animal or plant for the first time. And I can't really show you that yet because the breeding mechanic isn't fully implemented at the moment, but for now I've just made it so that you get a point reward every time that you place an entity. And the amount of DP that you get depends on how rare the species is. The other way that you get points is that every entity in the world produces a small amount of DP per minute, and again, the amount of DP that an entity produces depends on how rare and diverse that particular animal or plant is. The second counter in the toolbar here indicates the total amount of DP that you'll get from all of the entities per minute, so at the end of each minute you can see that you get a nice load of points. Once you've gained a load of points you're obviously going to want to use them in some way, and there are going to be two ways that you can spend your DP. The first thing that you can spend your DP on is unlocking new species of animals and plants, and you can do that by clicking on this button here which will bring up basically an in-game shop for new species. Most of the species in the game are going to be unlocked with the selective breeding mechanic, but in order to carry out any breeding at all, you're going to need to have some animals or plants to start with, and that's where these base species come in. The base species are basically at the top of the breeding family trees, so they can't be unlocked using the selective breeding process, they have to be bought here, but from these base species you'll be able to breed every other species of animal and plant in the game. The other thing that you'll be able to buy with your DP is bonuses, and these will basically be the equivalent of buffs in an RPG game. So for example, you'll be able to buy a bonus which makes your trees grow faster, or perhaps one that increases the chance of your sheep reproducing, or one that allows you to manipulate a certain trait of an animal or plant, and many other things like that. There'll also probably be some cosmetic objects that you can buy and place in your world to make it look nicer. The final button on the toolbar here allows you to turn on biome identification mode, and when this is active you can mouse over parts of the terrain to find out what the biomes in that area are. So for example over here by the sheep you can see that it's almost entirely grassland, over here by the trees there's a bit more forest biome, over here it's obviously mostly marsh, and so on. And this biome information is going to be very important to the player because a lot of species will require certain amounts of specific biomes to survive, some will behave very differently in different biomes, and some will even produce different offspring depending on the biome. So that is it for this week. Next week I'm going to be doing a bit more work on biomes and how they spread, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.